In this video, we'll mix 3D and Morph for killer PowerPoint slides. You can apply this mind-blowing technique to any presentation featuring maps, top cities, dream travel spots, or regional sales reports. It will do the job. As usual, you can download a free template from my blog. Check out the link in the description below. This tutorial comes in three parts. In the first part, you'll dive into crafting a dynamic background from a single static image. Next, we will add a 3D model along with spinning circular text. And finally, we will bring in the content and make it move. So if you're ready for an exciting dose of PowerPoint Morph magic, then buckle up and let's dive in. First, let's add an image to the background. Go to the Insert tab and click Pictures. You can add an image straight from your device. And if you're not sure where to grab high-quality free pictures, check out these awesome websites. In this video, I'll go with stock images. Let's search for a space image. Here's the perfect pick for our background. Let's stretch it out to fill the entire slide. To bring back the original proportions, open up the Crop menu on the Picture tab and hit Fill. To close the Crop tool, just click outside the image. Let's transform this static image into a dynamic background. Duplicate the slide. Click on the image, head to the Picture Format tab and hit the Crop tool. Let's zoom out and make the image a bit bigger. Click the image corner and drag it while holding control. To close the crop tool, just click outside the image. Now select the slides and fire up the morph transition. Click preview to check out the transition. Perfect, we've got a dynamic background. Now let's jump into phase two and craft dynamic circular text with a 3D earth model. Select the first slide and zoom in. Go to the Home tab and add a text box. Pick the yellow color for the text and start typing. In case you're wondering, the font I'm using here is Poppins. It's a free Google font that you can download from fonts.google.com. Now select the text and make it smaller. Give the top five text some extra punch by making it extra bold. Select all the text and copy it. Use the Ctrl plus C keyboard shortcut to speed up your workflow. Now type three dashes and paste the text with Ctrl plus V. Repeat the process. Type three extra dashes at the end. Now select the text box, then hustle over to the Shape Format tab. Open Text Effects. Go to the Transform menu and select the Circle option. Just sync up the width and height to get a perfect circle. Now let's slide it over to the right and bump up the size a bit. Click on a corner of the text, then drag it while holding the control key. And here is a trick on how to deal with this gap. Select the whole text. You can use the control plus a keyboard shortcut for that. Next, right click on the text and choose font. Go to the character spacing. This is where you can play around with spacing to see what works best. In this case, four points get the thing done. Now let's align the text to the middle. Select the text, go to the Home tab and open up the Arrange menu. Then click on the Align Middle option under the Align menu. I'm going to nudge it a bit to the center for a nice balanced look. Next, copy the text and paste it to the second slide. Now duplicate the text. For that, hold Shift and Control and drag it. Your goal here is to find that sweet spot of perfect symmetry. Smart Guides will help you with that. If you don't have them, right-click on the empty space, go to the Grid and Guides menu, and activate Smart Guides. Now you can delete the text on the right. Then rotate the text on the left by 90 degrees. Let's preview the transition. Awesome. We've got the cool dynamic background and the text spinning. It's time to add a 3D model of the Earth. Select the first slide and go to the Insert tab. Click on 3D Models and choose Stock 3D Models. Search Earth. Let's pick this one. Now, snap it to the center of the text with the trusty Smart Guides make Earth bigger until it fits the text frame just right. 
For a swift scale, hold control and shift while dragging the corner. Just a little bit more. Perfect. Now let's copy it to the second slide. Now let's line it up with the text and give it a random spin. Let's preview the transition. Excellent. Let's move on to the third phase and bring in the content. Select the first slide. Go to the Home tab and zoom out the slide. Now add a text box. This is going to be the name of our cities. Set font color to yellow, go for the extra bold and align text to the left. Let's type in a placeholder text. Make it a few steps smaller. Now duplicate the text. Here's where we put the population number. Let's make it white. Duplicate it and drag it up. This is gonna be the position. Since it's secondary, let's switch to regular poppins, shrink the size and go with a cool dark gray. Duplicate it. Let's type population. Next, add a divider line. Now select all elements and distribute them vertically for a well-balanced look. Next, we are going to design a location marker. First, let's add a circle. Choose a solid red outline two points wide. Shrink it down and place it right in the center of the earth. Zoom in and draw two lines, connecting the city name with the circle. Enjoying the show? Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to be part of our growing movement. Make lines red. If you zoom in, you will see that joint point is not perfect. To fix this, select the lines and change the cap type to round. There we go. Now it's looking perfect. Next, let's bring in the real data. Wikipedia is our go-to source here. Fifth place goes to Mexico City. Let's copy. Let's go back to PowerPoint. Paste the name. To maintain the text format, select the Keep Text Only option from the Paste menu. Then adjust the lines. Next, copy and paste the population number. Now, let's tweak the 3D model to match up with the city. Next, select the content and copy. Go to the second slide and paste the content. Align text to the right and drag the content to the other side. Now grab the divider line and line it up with the text. Let's update the content. Next, bring in the location marker from the first slide. Select all elements of the marker and group them. Copy and paste it to the second slide. Now flip it horizontal. Find the marker with the earth model and adjust the connecting line. Now match up the 3D model. Well done. The design for the first two slides is complete. For the third slide, just duplicate the first one and move it to the end. 
Now all you need to do is update the content and adjust the 3D model, just like we did before. And I'm gonna jump forward with some editing magic to save your time. For the fourth slide, duplicate the second one and drag it down. Update and adjust. Now the fifth slide. Our static content is ready. Now let's make it move as we transition from slide to slide. Go to the first slide. Select the text and the marker and group them. Copy the group. Select the second slide and paste the group. Now drag it outside the slide. Next, select and group the content on the second slide, then copy it. Go to the next slide and paste it. Then drag it aside. Go through the steps again. And one more time. Now we'll go in reverse order. Copy the content from the fifth slide and paste it to the fourth slide. Drag it to the side. Don't worry about overlapping the contents. Next step, let's copy the content from this slide back to the previous one. Do the same thing again. And one more round. We're officially done. Now let's sit back and enjoy the results. By the way, did you know I've got an online course for Morph Enthusiasts? This is a super affordable crash course that covers everything from beginner steps to advanced moves. Check out the link in the description and join the movement today.